weight loss, weight prevention. What's the number one reason why you exercise? Think about it. Just think about it. It's different as we get older. Different reasons. One of you guys might be running a triathlon, might be doing a strength training because you're getting a bit flabby. You could just be wanting to lose some weight. Everybody has a different reason. We went through the stats before. And you guys are all working together. You know, you're not against each other because we've only got a 13% infiltration rate into the whole population. And I think when Justin and I started out, we had 8%. And you think, in the last 16 years, between all the visions that have opened up, you know, SNAP, Anytime, 24-hour fitness, Fitness First weren't even around when we were started out. And Pete, you were there when Fitness First wasn't there either. <laughs> You know, you think of all those places that have opened and we've only gone from 8 to 13%, only a 5% increase in the whole population. We could have another lot of all those new competitors coming in and it's still not going to matter. There's still going to be people out there for us to tap into. Right, this is one that Impact Training use well. I use it. You guys all using the, these five W's? Okay, so the five W's were invented. You can Wikipedia it, blah, blah, blah. It's all on the internet. Um, and it is designed initially for journalism, right? They wanted to get the information out real quick. Who are they? What? Where? When? Why? How? But now they use it in interrogation and I call that, that's my sales process as interrogation as well. Just joking. It's just a nice way to do it. But this is how you get it out real quick. Who are they? So who are they? Where do they come from? What do they want? When do they want it by? Where do they want it on their body? Why? And how they feel if they don't achieve it? Now this is basic sales. It's, you know, it's basic, basic interviewing, it's basic journalism. Okay, but this gets out that emotion, so we talked about all that stuff about the leverage stuff, this is how you extract it. Now I've got a thing that I do, and thanks to Peter Lakovich for my prop today. <laughs> this is a candle, okay? There's a wick on it. And for those of you that have heard this, I want you to just tap into it again, because you can't hear it enough. This is a wick. Okay, it's burning. My hand is around it and I want to lose weight, tone up. It's very warm ideas, isn't it? Get fit, get a better social life, whatever it is. Now, if I put my hand from here where it's warm into the flame, what am I going to do with my hand? Pardon? Keep going and pull it away. Move it away. So your job as a trainer, as a salesperson, all those people put their hand up first thing this morning to so their sales or personal trainer, your job is to go from here into there. So what have you got to effectively do during your sales presentation? Turn up the heat, not make them feel like it's all right and turn it down. Because everybody's saying, oh no, that's okay. You know, you'll be right, oh we can help you. And what you're doing is turning it down. You need to turn it up, okay? Do you understand? So write that down. You need to increase intensity of the pain in the sales process. Increase intensity, because it's going to create enough leverage for them to make a change right now and not give you one single objection. We're going to have to justify it logically and say, oh, about $3.50 a day, you can have this, and a cup of coffee costs $4, forget it. If you're doing that, you need to work more on the, on the beginning. Do you get it? So they come in, it's all warm around the candle, I want to lose weight, tone up, blah, blah. Your job is to go from here into the fire. You do that, they move, from where, they move away, right? Because they're in pain, move them away. All right. Just think of the candle. 